Decision tonight from the city of Arlington refusing to grant a permit for the controversial Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. parade. It's planned for Monday. This has been in social media quite a bit lately, but organizers are still saying they are hopeful they can still make this happen. Ken Malasina live in Arlington to talk about this. Yeah, Kaylee, uh, the leaders of the NAACP out here, they had organized this meeting at this church tonight. They wanted to talk about their plans to protest at this parade. They did not agree with the fact that Texas Governor Greg Abbott was being named as an honorary grand marshal. But just minutes before this meeting got underway, we all found out that the parade is now a big question mark. I have just learned from the city manager that the parade has been canceled. <laughs> Applause and cheers as Arlington's NAACP president, Elisa Simmons, broke the news to a crowd of community members who came to protest the planned Martin Luther King Jr. Day Parade. For the past few days, they vehemently fought the parade, believing Texas Governor Greg Abbott is undeserving of being honorary Grand Marshal. We were going to have a full-fledged protest. Everybody wear the same color. And while the NAACP touts its efforts as the reason why the parade was iced, the city of Arlington says it was strictly due to lack of payment and the organizers being denied proper permitting. This had absolutely nothing to do with any of the controversy or, for that matter, um, anything dealing with Governor Abbott. The reason was the permits were not fulfilled. Windsor Barbie is the event's organizer and expressed her disappointment with the decision. If we cancel, you know, look at what has been lost. Look at the opportunities that have been lost for North Texas. It is just simply sad. She admits they had a $60,000 shortfall, but is still hoping this will all get fixed before Monday. We have the right to appeal. Well, Barbie tells me that the entire event was costing about $250,000, but as you heard, she hopes that an appeal will go through and that hopefully everything uh, will get back on track by Monday. Monday, Kaylee. You know, can, can you talk about the appeals, process, the appeals process and why organizers are expecting this to possibly take a long time? Yeah, well, uh, this could all be a long shot, Kayla. Here's how this works. Uh, the organizers have five business days to file an appeal with the city. Upon receipt of that appeal, the city then has five business days on their end to respond. But let's do the math here. Tomorrow is Friday. This tomorrow is the last business day of this week before uh, this parade that would have happened on Monday. So really, a lot of moving parts, Kaylee, would need to come together tomorrow within the next 24 hours for this to still remain a reality. Kaylee? Sounds like they will be working well into the night, Ken. Thank you.